I stopped the last video really quickly because I forgot to write this little bit onto the bottom of it about the discriminant, okay? We know this is the quadratic equation. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of uh, B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. The discriminant is the crap that's underneath the radical, B squared minus 4AC. What is so special about that? The discriminant tells you how many solutions there are in a quadratic equation. It tells you how many times it will cross the x-axis, okay? So if the discriminant is negative, it does not cross the x-axis ever, okay? That means it's a graph above or below the x-axis and opens the opposite direction, okay? What that means, let me give you an example on the drawing right here. That means like the vertex is here and it opens upwards. It doesn't open towards the x-axis, okay? Or it's below and it opens downwards. It doesn't open toward the x-axis, all right? Makes sense? That's if the discriminant is negative, it does not cross the x-axis. If the discriminant is zero, it will cross at one time, which means it's on the x-axis. The vertex is on the x-axis. So it'll open up from the x-axis either upwards or downwards, or eventually, when you get further into this, sideways, left or right. Now, if it's positive, it's going to cross it two times, okay? Like most of our quadratics that we've worked with, they've opened up or down, and it crosses the x-axis either at two points, whatever, okay? So, back up so you can get that. If the discriminant is negative, it doesn't cross the x-axis. If it's zero, it crosses it once. If it's positive, it crosses it twice. Good information to have, so you can always go back and check your work. Um, it'll come in more handy uh, in Algebra 2, but right now, suffice it to say, it's going to be beneficial in bits and pieces. Here's our quadratic equation that we've got. Uh, 2x squared plus 1x minus 6 is equal to 0. We take the discriminant, which is the work below, below the radical in the quadratic equation, and we fill in the blanks. B squared, what is B in this problem? It's one, and what is one squared? One times one, one, minus four times A, A is two, and C, which is negative six, okay? This is our quadratic discriminant. So let's get rid of the multiplication. What is negative 4 times 2? Negative 8. What is negative 8 times negative 6? A positive 48 and the 1. Get that? The discriminant equals 49. Is that positive, negative, or 0? This answer is positive. This tells me that this equation will cross the x-axis in two spots for sure. So if you graph this and your graph looks something like this, you know you screwed up, okay? Or if it does something like this, you know you screwed up, okay? That's wrong because this tells me because it is a positive answer, it's going to cross the x-axis twice. Now, hopefully that makes sense, okay? I can already tell you just by looking at this equation, because this is a positive number out in front, I know it's going to be a max. Maximum. Oh, 